live in Byron. We have shares. Okay, tell me about the concept. Tell me, if well, a young bloke's getting started, if what I was does he need to do? say you're going to get started, let's go to where you finish. So you can surf prone, lying down. You can body surf with flippers or without. You can use the most sold surfboard in the world, the, the body board, um, or a knee board, or even your goat boat, your um, wave skis as we call them. I like to sort of put it to you like this. It wouldn't matter what you rode, as long as you were riding. Like, you know, you don't have to really have a board. You could just be a, an ocean person. You can even, at the end of it, go down and look at the ocean, maybe wade around in there, up to your knees, and then get out. You can out catch seven waves body surfing at 70 years of age. You can come back from, a, from not surfing for 50 years. You started as a 20-year-old man and you gave up and you come back to it at 70. That's what surfing really is. It's something that grabs you. You just always want to do it again. Ever since you've done it once, you're addicted, like you've got some sort of secret drug habit you can't tell anyone about. What lit the spark for you, Shez? When did you know that this was the sport oh, for the you? The spark for me was probably standing on the edge of a riverbank and having my father throw me into the reeds and the bull routes and realizing I could swim back to the bank. Don't just stand there and look at it, take some risks, jump in. <laughs> um, the other one is, the spark started for me when I was mid-tears on the front of my dad's board, probably screaming that I was scared, um, you know, and then all of a sudden realizing I just did it. I just surfed. And then if you think about it, the spark starts before that when you're standing on your old man's canoes. You think you're an American Indian, the E-American. Um, you think you're a Polynesian, you think you're a Hawaiian, you, I don't know what it is. You so you're cosplaying on your dad's yeah. boards. And, and you, could have, you could have to say this, well, you have to say this, you're just a leaf floating down the drain, yeah. merrily getting on something like Huckleberry Finn, a raft. It could be, to an Aboriginal, or say an original, it could be a bunch of, um, you know, mangroves, logs twine together and then supping you're the first stand up yeah you're getting from one island to another or there could be an indonesian big dugout you know like or a polynesian just trying to get some or, or even a, a viking or or an englishman making a big ship to go around the world and conquer the world mm. and kill every fucking <laughs> force christ in everyone um you know the white supremacists even even captain cook said when he saw the first black man surfing on a log or, or a plank, he said, I could not help but think that he must be feeling the most supreme feeling right now. So even the white man himself, his cabin boy. Controversial. Yeah, very controversial, said that basically to watch surfing, you know, no more walking the plank, let's walk the plank that way. Right. I'm sure he would have loved to have been a surfer himself. And he was, he was a surfer of the ocean. Hmm. And going from, you know, one wave to another on a ship. When you foil or hydrofoil, you'll know the feeling of hanging 10. Or when you hang 10, you know the feeling of hydrofoiling. It's the same feeling, you know. Having wings and foils and fins and, you know, it's the ultimate. Come on, it's the ultimate supreme feeling and no one can explain it properly with honesty. It's peace, love and mung beans and it's war and confusion and water in the face and drowning and getting smashed and getting caught. You did a pretty good job energy. last time, Shares, when, when you were describing what the feeling of of surfing was um, for you. It was like the sparkling water, glassy clear, Two turtles. Foot, three foot, doesn't yeah. matter, doesn't have to be 20 foot, doesn't have to be 60 foot. If you want to do it at 60 foot, please do it for me because I'm too scared. You know, please do it. Get held down beyond the rivers, beyond the mountains, beyond the shorelines, beyond the seas. Get held down for three minutes. I don't know. It's not my thing. I don't like getting held down in the dark, deep blue. It's pretty weird. Sometimes when you get thrown around inside a wave, inside a barrel, you're up in an armchair and you think, how can I get rolled around that many times and not drown? It's so fun. It's epic to wipe out. The wipeout shouldn't be the end of your ride, it's the best bit of your ride. Awesome. Getting thrown, getting catapulted. 
That's getting good. Rejected, getting rejected, getting your head chopped off, and getting sent into these spiraling rag dolls where, like, you know, they say like it's a like a dog shaking a rag in its mouth. Raggedy end. That's great stuff, man. So.